So here I have 4.5 factoring a linear binomial. So we're going to factor this. I have a common factor, a GCF of nine. So if I factor that nine out, what I'm left with is two minus y. Now one thing I need to make uh, realize is that if you have a GCF, you factor it out, and then you should have the same number of terms as given expression inside the parentheses. So if there were two terms in the original, then you should have two terms inside that parentheses. That's important because sometimes, um, let's say for instance, it was nine minus 18 y, right? And we factored out the nine and I've seen people do this and say that cancels and all I have is negative 2y. That's incorrect, okay? Those don't really cancel per se. The only things you can ever cancel is things that you add or subtract. Things that you divide actually don't cancel. What happens is they get reduced. And 9 divided by 9 is actually 1. And you have to have two terms in this parentheses if there was two terms in the original expression, okay? So that's why I mentioned whenever you factor out a GCF, count how many terms you had in your original problem because that's the exact same number of terms you need to have inside that parentheses. So here I notice that the GCF is 7. 7 is the largest number that goes into 28 and 21. This doesn't have any variables, so I don't need to worry about factoring out any variables. And then if I divide these both by 7, I end up with 4 plus 3y. Again, two terms inside the parentheses because my original problem had two terms.